budgets, right? So we're always being asked to do more with less. So I've always tried to figure out a way to run as low cost, but effective government as I can. Um, so through the years, we've tried you know many different ways of doing um, mass appraisal. So as the assessor of Riverside County, my job is to value that, uh, a million properties actually per year. And we have a staff of about 110 to 120 appraisers doing that, um, which means that's a lot of work per person. But every year that goes by, you know, we're asked to do more. And I always think we can do more because there's you know, emerging technologies that let us do things in a different way. So what you tend to do is um, you go to the Revenue Taxation Code or you go to Assessor Handbook 525 or you go to your internal policies and procedures, right? And you're always trying to figure that, which is the source of truth? What am I looking for here? And we explored all of our internal business process and streamlined those things as well, right? We went through you know, every approach you could think of, but it takes a lot of effort to create models. And I thought, you know, if we're talking about this kind of mass computation and statistical analysis, it seems like AI would be the kind of the perfect thing for that. I'm not a technologist by any means, right? So again, I'm a public servant, elected guy. So for me, it's um, how do we just continually get better at what we do? So with this, um, we're really trying to capture all of that knowledge, uh, whether it's codes like from the state, whether it's our, our internal stuff, um, and then allow our staff to access that. So um, we gave uh, C3 AI a pretty high bar to reach in terms of the results we wanted to see, the accuracy rates, and then how many properties they could value. Um, we actually found the results much better than that, uh, over 90% accurate. There's this, you know, change management part where your staff might think, you know, this is going to take some jobs. It's not doing that. It really is just making the mundane tasks that they do um, much easier to do, much more quick, and they can concentrate on the very complicated source properties. Maybe even more so for me, the important part is now I can take the staff who's working on some of those properties that are a little more easy to appraise and let C3 AI, um, take care of those valuations and move that staff into um, working on those appeals, those assessment appeals. And then we can cut the time, we hope, in half of um, resolving the appeal that a customer, because right now it could take up to two years for us to, to resolve an appeal, mm -hmm. particularly with commercial property. So um, in the end, it may not even mean fewer people, it just means we're better at what we do. And, I think our employees in our organization are starting to feel that, and they're, they're really seeing the, the fruits of this, this effort, and that translates into better customer service. The ability to show customers how you arrive to their value, right? Your community, your constituents, it's hugely important that we're able to do that. So yeah, so C3's been, um, thus far, um, in our two larger projects, it's been extraordinary. The results were actually better than we expected. So far, again, incredible results. We're just, we're super excited.